Aloha, and welcome back to this week's video. So uh, this week was actually a lot of fun. Um, it was a couple weeks in the making. Uh, so what I've gotten a lot of comments in the past about uh, whether or not shark teeth make good arrowheads. And what's what's interesting is actually in, in ancient Hawaii, uh, they didn't use bow and arrow for war. In fact, they, they rarely even used it for hunting. The, the bow and arrow is, is thought to be used mainly for... Um, games uh, like a child's toy um it just wasn't used in, in in war they did have projectiles spears javelins uh slings um they, they did have a variety of things that they used but the bone arrow wasn't one and so i've kind of always commented on that that they didn't use it um, but i thought it'd be a lot of fun to try it out so i i, I got some wooden arrows um i just removed the tips the the they were a metal tip that was just glued on so I just had to heat up the tip and I was able to expand the steel and I soften the glue and it came right off. Um, so I have four different arrow types that I'm going to be testing with. Um, I, I don't know which one is going to be better, which one's going to be worse. I just thought it'd be fun rather than making the same arrow type for all four. It'd be a lot more interesting if I made four different styles and saw which style would work best. <laughs> I've never done anything like this before, so it was very much a learning curve. Um, the first thing I did is just used my handsaw here to cut a groove where the teeth are gonna sit, the primary tooth is gonna sit in. So you'll notice that each one of those styles has a bull shark tooth at the tip. Um, I was originally gonna have the tips be significantly different, but then I thought it might be too hard to judge between the, the different styles, and so um, all of them are going to have the same bull shark tip, just so that they have a good uh, solid arrowhead tip, and then um, different configurations of teeth and, and serrated edges along the sides. Uh, so what I ended up doing is, um, after I cut down the center, sand it, widen it up a little bit, um, and I'm drilling into the teeth. Um, I tried drilling into it while I was sitting there, that was kind of a pain, so I ended up pulling it out and, and using my Dremel to put the holes in it from the side. And then I'm also going to be drilling actually into the arrow, and you'll see that here in just a little bit. Um, it was quite a bit of trial and error. Um, I, I honestly didn't think it was going to be this much effort. <laughs> I ended up taking about, oh, I don't know, maybe two, two and a half hours or a little bit, maybe a little bit less, but about two hours per arrow. So it ended up taking a significant amount of time. Uh, I wasn't sure how they were going to handle, if they were going to break right away. Um, but as I started making them, man, I was getting really excited. Uh, so after I drilled the hole through the shaft and through the two holes in the arrowhead, I then lashed it into place. Um, the style of lashing I did, I, I kind of just mixed the styles of lashing that I used for my Hawaiian weapons and kind of rolled with that. Uh, I, I wasn't really, I didn't do a whole lot of research into Native American or other uh, cultures that utilize arrowheads and arrows. Um, I just kind of wanted to uh, experiment and, and, and do kind of my own designs and my own styles, um, heavily influenced from Hawaiian weaponry. Um, it actually worked out really well. Um, the arrowheads, none of the arrowheads came loose. None of them moved even the smallest amount. Um, and so it, I was very pleased with the overall construction. Um, I am going to be skipping a lot of the footage for most of these arrowheads. Um, it's kind of the same process each time. Uh, the only thing that changed was the orientation of the shark's teeth. And so I'm just going to kind of go through that a little bit. Um, I ended up using a little bit of super glue and then heating it just to kind of set the, the lashing. So the lashing is a waxed lashing. Um, and that kind of really set it all in the place and, and made them really strong. So this is the first style. And this is your basic arrowhead. Um, I thought it'd be fun just to make a basic one and see how it did. Um, after this first one, I really got excited. <laughs> but uh, I was excited with the way that the rest of them were going to look. But man, I was not expecting it to take as long as it did. Um, it just took so long. That, that first one... Now, granted, I got faster at it just because the first one was full trial and error. After the first one, I kind of got a pattern down for the next couple. But it, it, each one took anywhere between two to two and a half hours. Um, some parts were faster, some parts were slower. 
figuring out how I was going to lash the each one was a little bit challenging. All of the tips were all lashed the same. So this is the first one that's going to be of a different style. So the teeth on the side are tiger shark teeth. And the orientation that I was doing on the side of this one was I'm going to have the tiger shark teeth pointed towards the tip. And I kind of decided to do that just because I figured it'd be a little bit more, uh, they would cut better because that's kind of their orientation inside of the tiger shark's mouth. Um, once again, shark teeth, as far as I'm aware, are not used and have not been used for arrowheads. So I'm sure there's a better way of doing what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, I, I'm not, I, I don't hunt with a bone arrow. I don't have experience with bone arrow. In fact, shooting uh, these arrows was the first time I've shot a bow and arrow. Um, well, that's not true. I think I did shoot it when I was younger, but maybe like 15, 20 years ago. And it was once or twice at like a camp or something, but that's it. Um, and so I'm, I'm very much just winging it. <laughs> uh, one thing that was cool though, as I started to, to lash up this one, um, just seeing the different design and style, it was really neat. And so e even if they didn't work, it was a ton of fun just making them. Um, you can see my, my kids, my, my youngest here, just kind of playing around. She loves her, her little princess dresses. So she wears them whenever, wherever she gets the chance. Uh, one thing that I did notice though, is that as I was lashing the teeth and you kind of saw it, I skipped over it on this one. You'll see it again on the next one. So originally, for the side teeth, I was just going to lash them into place. And what I ended up deciding to do was similar to how I make weapons. Um, I, I cut in a groove into the shaft that each of those teeth sit into. Um, and it's pretty custom to the tooth. So it's a tight groove. It's a, it's a, a snug fit. There isn't a lot of room in there. And the, my thinking on that, my thought process on that is that it will help it with uh, when force is applied to it um, because the tooth is going to get pushed into the wood rather than being on top of the wood and just sliding around and, and being held on by lashing and nothing else. And then the lashing helps prevent it from going side to side as well as pulling apart. Um, and so that's kind of my, my idea and my thought and it luckily enough by chance just worked out perfectly. But it kind of makes sense um, because the, the teeth that I mount to the weapons that I make um, I, I put cut in grooves for the teeth and then I lash them into place and man, they hold in solid. So it wasn't too surprising. I was taking off, you know, on, on taking off of that thought process, uh, that last arrow, I forgot to mention that was bull shark teeth on the side. So the second, the first arrow was just a bull shark at the top and the second arrow was a bull shark at the top plus two tiger shark. The third arrow was a bull shark at the top plus two bull sharks on the side. And this fourth arrow here is a bull shark tooth at the top and four tiger shark, but this time pointing back, um, on the arrow, this arrow was gnarly. Uh, even before I shot it, I just, oh, it just looks so beastly. <laughs> uh, one thing I was a little bit concerned with was I wasn't sure how they were going to fly. Um, how the arrow tips, the shark teeth would affect the flight pattern. Um, once again, I'm, I'm not I'm not into archery, so I have no experience with that coming in, but you know it, it ended up working out. So here's the five arrows. Um, the the metal tip arrow I was going to be testing with. So here's the the bull shark tip with the bull shark on the two sides, um, facing back. Here's the bull shark tip with tiger shark teeth on the sides, facing up. Uh, this next one is going to be the standard arrow, and it's just a simple bull shark on the tip, and then. The final arrow here is going to be a bull shark on the front and then four tiger shark uh, facing back. Um, all of these are pretty solid. It's hard to tell from the image, but when I shake it, the arrows are the uh, shark teeth aren't moving at all. Just the arrow shaft is. And then this arrow here is kind of my test. So this is just a steel arrow tip. And so I practiced first with the steel one. And then once I got comfortable, I moved uh, to these ones. Um, Go ahead and pause the video now and uh, leave in the comments what arrow you think will do the best, have the deepest penetration and have the most damage. All right, so now we're back. Here's the first arrow. This is just the standard arrow. 
man, did that one cut in deep. Uh, that almost penetrated through the entire ballistics gel, which is a six inch block. Uh, the steel arrow only made it in about five inches. So this actually went deeper on both. And I hit it twice just to make sure the first one wasn't like a fluke. And both times it went the same depth. Um, and I'm probably not even pulling back on the string far enough either. So here's the arrowhead. Um, it did beautifully. Zero movement, uh, no damage, nothing. So here's arrow number two. This is the bull shark and then uh, two bull shark on the side. I thought this one was going to do the best actually. Oh, well, not better than the first one on penetration, but I thought I was going to go the deepest for the, you know, the, the complex style of arrowheads. Um, but one thing that I, I realized as I was shooting is uh, it had a weird flight pattern. And I think it was as a result of how those shark teeth were oriented. But man, was it hard to hit the target. <laughs> I missed so many times at this one. But I finally got it in. Uh, it definitely didn't go as deep as I was expecting it to. Uh, I, I thought I was going to go a lot deeper and it didn't. But look at that cut though. I mean, that is just a nasty cut. Um, that's a good two and a half inch wide cut and it goes probably about three inches about almost halfway through the ballistics gel and it's a six inch block so that's a, still a pretty gnarly gnarly hit uh, so the next arrow here this is going to be the bull shark tip and then tiger shark on the sides um, i actually was kind of expecting this one to go the deepest because of how tiger shark teeth are oriented and naturally in the shark um, and I was kind of surprised that it actually went about the same, maybe a little less than the bull shark. Um, it was still pretty intense, but, um, pretty much did about the same as the bull shark teeth. Uh, here I was just trying to get a view for my Instagram. Uh, if you can, if you haven't already, go ahead and follow me on Instagram and uh, I would absolutely appreciate it. Uh, it helps me a lot. Um, the next arrow here, the, the last arrow is going to be the, uh, one with the star, or I don't know what you'd call it, uh, the, the X. Um, so bull shark and then four tiger shark teeth. I, I honestly didn't know how this one was gonna do. I was excited to, to try it. I had no idea how it was gonna do. So I just went for it. <laughs> and, oh man, I totally hit my, my ratchet strap. Oh, almost severed it, uh, which actually surprised me. I. What I thought would happen if I hit the ratchet strap is that I would just break the teeth because the straps are pretty solid, but nope, it just sliced right through and cut into the ballistics gel. <laughs> so by this time I was starting to get a little bit better. I was hitting the ballistics gel pretty much every shot and I got lazy and didn't take any time on my shot. And you can kind of tell from the alignment, but you can definitely tell here, totally missed. Uh, you can see all the holes in the towel from the second arrow that just had the weird flight pattern. So it was really hard to hit the ballistics gel you couldn't really aim straight on it was just turf curve um, the rest of them flew really well so finally i'm taking a little bit more time lining up taking my shot and i got a good solid hit right in the center of the blessing gel this one actually went in deeper uh than the first or than the the second and the third one the first one by far penetrated the furthest but i was surprised at how deep this one went um, especially with those four blades, the shark teeth st sting back. And look at that cut. Oh, man. Just absolutely intense. I just sliced in. Uh, I can't imagine getting shot with this and then having to pull it out. Oh, that'd be horrible. <laughs> well, here's the, the next set of testing is by far my favorite part. Uh, I got some of the audio there so you can hear the a slap, but this is uh, going to be into a rack of ribs. Whoa. So you can hear it just slap into the rack of ribs, which was awesome. So this was the first arrow, and look at that. So even through the rack of ribs, now it might have missed a bone, but still, it still went in oh, maybe five and a half inches into the ballistic gel after going through uh, the, the ribs. Like that was insane. This thing would just fly and zero damage to the tip like nothing still sharp still solid i could probably shoot this another x number of times so let's take out the next arrow oh, 
<laughs> my wife's reaction on this one just made me laugh. <laughs> uh, this was actually surprised me. So it didn't penetrate all the way into the ballistics gel, but it did cut all the way through. But look how it's oriented. Um, it's perpendicular to the ribs. This one actually cut through one of the ribs, like sliced it in half and still had enough force to then uh, penetrate about an inch into the ballistics gel. This surprised me. It didn't even break the bones either. Um, it was a little bit of a challenge to get the arrow out, um, but I did pull it. But it did. This totally severed uh, one of the small ribs. Um, you can kind of see it right there where my thumb's at. You can see that white. Um, so that's a small rib that it just cut clean through. That was awesome. All right, let's check out the next one. So this was the one with the uh, bull shark, or not, I mean tiger shark teeth that pointed forward. This one also cut right through, but I hit it at almost the exact same spot. Like, look at that. Like, if I was trying to do that, <laughs> excellent shooting groups. <laughs> but I, I wasn't trying to do that. That was a total accident. <laughs> So here's the second shot aimed higher. Uh, I didn't get the audio on this one unfortunately. This one cut straight through and actually went a deeper than the bull shark but this one broke a tooth. So when I pulled this one out you can see right there. So it looks like it might have hit a rib and shattered on the rib. Um, it could have cut through and shattered after. Um, it, it did seem like it, it it, it cut and so I went ahead and pulled the rack off and you can actually see the shrapnel in the teeth uh, from the some from the teeth right there in the in the in the meat that would just be horrible so painful so here's the last one let's check this one out. I did get the audio on the rest of them uh, my daughter was <laughs> crying pretty loud um, but uh, this surprised me so this one right here similar to the the bull shark one penetrated straight through the ribs and then went into the ballistics gel about an inch and a half. Um, I, <laughs> you can see the, the cut pattern on there. I, I wasn't able to pull this one out, so I ended up just pushing the arrow all the way through, uh, which, oh man, if you were to get shot by that, that would be painful. Um, but check the, the cut on this. Like that is just nasty. So you can see the four slice. This would just slice right through. I mean, the amount of damage that that's gonna cause is just insane. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, I absolutely loved uh, making the arrows for this. Um, it was a total blast. Um, I was actually surprised that I only busted the one arrow. <laughs> uh, they, they performed way better than I ever expected. Um, it, it was just a lot of fun. Um, I, I don't know what to do with the arrows. so. Uh, leave in the comments below what you'd like to see me shoot next with them. Um, I'm probably not going to make any more. Um, it just took too long to make them, but uh, it was definitely worth the time for, for this section. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. It was a ton of fun, and I'll see you next time. Mahalo for watching. See you next time.